an extraterrestrial. The words of Gabriel Batistuta remarking on Lionel Messi upon him breaking the Argentina goal scoring record at the 2016 Copa America. Lionel Messi moved to Spain to join the La Masia Academy in 2001 when he was 13. Whilst at Barcelona, Messi became a dual citizen of both Argentina and Spain. In 2003, the Spanish under-17 team selectors sought after the diminutive Argentine, but Messi rejected them. A year later, Messi made his under-20 debut for Argentina against Paraguay, scoring one goal and assisting two in an eight-goal thrashing. He would go on to make his international debut in August 2005 against Hungary, and picked up the under-20 World Cup for his country in the same year. The second and final trophy that he picked up for the Argentina youth squads was gold at the Beijing Olympics in 2008. At senior level for his country, however, he would only pick up silver medals, one at the World Cup in 2014 against Germany, and then three at the Copa America, in 2007 against Brazil, and in 2015 and 2016 against Chile. After a second successive heartbreaking penalty shootout loss to Chile in the 2016 final, where Messi missed a vital penalty, the number 10 signalled the end of his international career. He would quickly reverse the decision in time for round of 16 elimination at the World Cup in Russia 2018 and a year later Messi helped Argentina take bronze at the Copa America. He's currently the record goal scorer for Argentina and Barcelona and is sure to break both Barcelona and Argentina's appearance record in the not too distant future. Lionel Messi will be remembered as one of the best footballers to ever live. This is largely due to his club form with Barcelona. He has picked up 6 Ballon d'Or awards alongside 10 La Liga titles, 6 Copa del Reyes and 4 Champions League titles. But let's slide the doors open, gauge the effect of the butterfly, and rewrite the football in history books. Here's what would have happened if... Lionel Messi played for Spain. Upon Spain selectors scrutinising Lionel Messi's La Masia performances, Messi accepted their advances. After making his breakout season in 2004-05, Lionel Messi made his senior debut for Spain in a 2005 friendly win over Canada. His first goal for the Spanish side was in a 6-2 aggregate win over Slovakia that gained Spain their spot at the 2006 World Cup the following year. Spain manager Luis Aragon is plumped for Marcos Senna at the right wing for the opening two matches at the World Cup, where Spain tore apart Ukraine and Tunisia. Messi would feature in a second string side for the final group game against Saudi Arabia, with Spain already qualified. He netted twice in a 3-0 win. He returned to the bench for the last 16 match against France. David Villa and Frank Ribéry traded goals in the first half. In a nail-biting affair, Messi was thrown into the fray with 18 minutes left on the clock. The Barcelona magician struck the winner, killing Zinedine Zidane's career dead in the water in Hanover. Aragona selected Messi from the start instead of Fernando Torres from the left wing, but proved ineffective as Spain faltered to a 1-0 defeat over Brazil in the quarterfinals. With Aragona still in charge, Messi would be a perennial starter in the Spanish lineup. At Euro 2008, Messi was paired with either David Villa or Fernando Torres up front and would score four goals in the routes of Russia and Sweden, with a rest granted in the third match against Greece. Messi netted the winner in the quarter-final with Italy, featured in the semi-final win over Russia, before Fernando Torres won Spain's first trophy since the European Championship in 1964. As part of his five goals in the tournament, Messi would receive the golden boot and the golden ball. Vicente del Bosque succeeded Aragones for the 2010 World Cup and tweaked the setup in South Africa. He lined Spain up in a 4-2-3-1 with the Barcelona trio of Iniesta, Xavi and Messi behind recently signed Barcelona forward David Villa. Messi announced himself on the World Cup with a hat-trick, against Switzerland in Durban, before confirming Spain's place in the knockouts with a goal against Honduras. He was striking the 2-0 win over Portugal in the last 16, in Messi's first real victory in what was shaping up to be the biggest footballing rivalry with Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi wouldn't score in the 1-0 knockout wins over Paraguay and Germany, but would ensure he left South Africa with a golden boot in Spain's first World Cup final against the Netherlands. Messi, not Iniesta, would be the extra time hero in Johannesburg, scoring twice against the 10-man Dutch. Del Bosque kept the same face in his front line for the Euros in 2012, but moved Messi up top on his own with Iniesta and Xavi behind him. A third successive golden boot was acquired with four goals, one in the winning final against Italy. Diego Costa joined the Spanish setup in the World Cup two years later despite a number of caps for Brazil. Lionel Messi didn't hit fine form in the group stages, stifled perhaps by the two-man attacking lineup alongside Costa, only scoring in the final group win over Australia. A 3-0 win over the Netherlands on opening night claimed top spot in the group despite losing 1-0 to Chile. Messi came to life however in the quarter-final rout of Costa Rica. He scored all three for Spain. A winner in the semi-final against Argentina in Sao Paulo followed. For Messi this was the real final, as he invested all his energy in the extra time win. So much so that with a jaded Messi for the final, Germany crushed Spain with a Mario Goetze extra time winner. Germany would be the instigator in the following European Championships in 2016, knocking Spain out in the quarterfinals. Messi's six goals, five of which came in the group stages, secured him a silver boot behind Antoine Griezmann. Under Fernando Hierro in the 2018 World Cup, Lionel Messi surrendered his place up front for the returning Diego Costa. 
He sat on the left wing beside Isco and Andres Iniesta, but the four failed to click in the group stages, scraping through his group winners with just five points. What followed in the knockout stages was a singular performance the likes of which the World Cup hadn't seen since Paolo Rossi dragged Italy to the World Cup in 1982. Messi scored both goals in a 2-0 win over host Russia before netting the winner over Croatia in the final eight and the first goal in a semi-final win against England. Four years removed from the final defeat against Germany, Spain fell behind to Antoine Griezmann's penalty in Moscow. Diego Costa levelled up a VAR-inspired equaliser before Lionel Messi single-handedly won the tournament for Spain, jinking in and out of the French defence with just five minutes left on the clock, netting the winner. With two European Championships and two World Cups won, Lionel Messi retired from international football, the same month that Argentina capitulated to a group stage knockout courtesy of Nigeria. But what of Argentina? The immediate effect wasn't profound. Argentina laboured to successive quarter-final eliminations at the World Cups in Germany and South Africa and lost the 2007 Copa America final. Messi eliminated Argentina from the 2014 World Cup whilst a Sergio Aguero-led Argentina could only reach the semis of the 2011 Copa America. Gonzalo Higuain and Sergio Aguero were the focal points of a successive Copa America titles in 2015 and 2016, with Mauro Icardi welcomed into the fold for the latter tournament. Argentina won both finals against Chile, Icardi scoring the crucial penalty in the 2016 final, also winning the Golden Boot. Let's take it to the winners and losers. Lionel Messi winner because he actually won some international trophies two of each portugal another winner because they went on to win the 2006 world cup after beating brazil and italy spain another winner because they won a second world cup in 2018 argentina yet another winner because they broke their trophy drought from 1993 with successive copa americas in 2015 and 2016 Mauro Cardi, another winner, because he was able to compete on a regular basis for his country, and he won the Copa America in 2016. And the only loser, France, because they didn't win the 2018 World Cup and didn't reach the 2006 World Cup final. This video was made as part of the What If Football launch day. Each week, starting from Monday morning, a new scenario will be published right here on YouTube.